am I introducing here? We're getting the prepositions and proposition about prepositions. You trying to proposition me? Like, damn right. Preposition me? Um, okay. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I am usage editor of the Random House Dictionary of the English Language. And what we hate to see in grammar is what we call gossip rules that just aren't true, such as the terminal preposition, the split infinitive, you can't begin a sentence with and or but. These are all crippling to the writer, and they do not repose in any um, reputable grammar book. And the most famous is the preposition, and I'm just going to share with you, it's so ridiculous, the rule, that it has engendered the four most famous jokes in the grammar canon. I know some of you have heard, but probably new for many of you. The most famous is Sir Winston Churchill, one of the great stylists in our language, who had a sentence mangled when uh, an, an officious Whitehall editor untimely ripped, if you know your Shakespeare, yes, yes Macduff and all. Um, the good Mensa word, some people know that. Uh, the, um, the preposition from the back to the front, I ruined the sentence, and he thundered off uh, in, a, in a missive, this is the kind of errant nonsense up with which I shall not put. <laughs> and speaking of propositions, have you heard about the convict who attempted to seduce his female guard so that she would help him escape, by the way, in real life? Right? You know? Well, actually, yeah, you're right, it was those two, they, yeah, those two killers, they were people, guys who were attempting uh, let me just, using a proposition to end the sentence with. Ah! They really like me. Wow. And have you heard about, have you heard about the little boy up in his bedroom? His father brings up a book about Australia, and the little boy looks at his father and says, what did you bring that book that I didn't want to be read to out of from about down under up for? <laughs> And if you're saying that went too fast to take notes, say, send me the preposition stuff. <laughs> and of course, everybody's favorite, uh, and I know anyone who's brought a young child in, you knew you were taking a chance, but uh, a preppy happens to end up in an airplane sitting next to um, a public school or next to a preppy, and after an awkward silence to break the ice, the uh, public schooler looks at the preppy and says, what school are you at? The preppy looks down his aquiline nose and says, well, I happen to attend an institution in which we are taught to know better than to conclude sentences with prepositions. And the uh, public squirrel looks back at him, clears his throat, <clears throat> and says, all right, then, what school are you at? <laughs> so here's the phone about prepositions. Oh, boy, no, wait a minute, is this it? These are calls. Those are, yes, the compliments of this young lady up here. All right, the preposition song. I've been practicing real hard on this movie. Tough for me. There's a challenging one for me here. Did you learn it from your grammar? Yeah, my, my grammar. My yeah, grammar told me. Mom. My grammar too. <laughs> With on for after it by and against instead of near between the over up according to around among beyond and to until within without upon from above across along toward before behind below beneath beside during under. Test. They have to now do it themselves from memory. <laughs> <laughs> or retest.